Our top story now, an overnight house fire on St. Paul's east side sent six children and an adult to the hospital early this morning. Bailey Hurley joins us live at the scene. She's got brand new information. Bailey, you have been out there since early this morning. That's right, and we just learned that all seven of those people who were found inside this home early this morning, they're still in critical condition right now at the hospital. And fire crews also say that when fire crews found those six kids and that one adult, all of them were unconscious in the home when those rescue efforts started. Now this fire, it was called in about 1.30 this morning. Fire crews uh, from St. Paul saying that 63 firefighters in total responded here this morning. A majority of those getting here in less than four minutes. Uh, they put the flames out pretty quickly here before those rescue missions started. Officials saying they were there were working smoke detectors inside the home here, but said that the location of the fire on the first floor of this home and then where the bedrooms are again on the first floor here that may have posed problems for the large family to make their way out. Now get this one firefighter alone. They saved three kids going in and out in and out of the home three separate times and doing CPR on that last child. Now, St. Paul's fire chief called everybody, every first responder, every firefighter. He, he called that their quick actions here this morning heroic and the real reason that all seven people inside this home have a fighting chance at life still. It's a very traumatic event for our folks. Um, you know, you know, we do this for a living, right? It's our job, but it's, it's still we're human beings and it's, it's very difficult to do a lot of times and to um, maintain composure and to maintain uh, uh, the reason why we're there. Okay, now this fire is believed to be accidental. Fire crews know urging if you don't already, you should have working smoke detectors in your home. You should also have a fire evacuation plan and you should practice that. Leah Paul. Bailey Hurley reporting for us in St. Paul.